G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I've got something from Speedy B. Speedy B? Yeah, look, speedyb.com. See, it says on the side of the box. Speedy B, now this seems to be, I think it's an offshoot of Runcam. And they contacted me a while ago and said, hey, how would you like a customized FPV antenna? And I said, nah, bugger off. Actually, I didn't. I said, yes, that'd be great. Thank you very much. So this is what they've sent me. Let's have a look. I'm going to open the box. And there it is. Look at that. Let's just, I'm going to go to macro now because you've got to see the best bit. And there it is. Personalized. Look, let me take it out of the box without trying to lose focus here. Here it is. What does it say on the top? Look at that. Hopefully we can get it. Look, XJet. So it's not RC Model Reviews, it's XJet. I didn't want RC Model Reviews um, on there because, as you know, I don't shill for products. I don't promote products. I don't really want to be seen to be endorsing or uh, being sponsored by products. But XJet, hey, who cares? That's my fun channel. And if you don't subscribe to XJet, you should go and subscribe now. But there we go. This is the, the new antenna from SpeedyB. Um, let's just pull out a bit and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like compared to something you're probably more familiar with. Right, here we have the lollipop from Fox here, and I really like that antenna. In my tests, it's, it's worked really well. I've had it on my quad. It is a really good little antenna for the size of it. It produces a fantastic result. So I can't help but um, say that it is wonderful. It's got hot glue on this one. It's all covered in hot glue because I just glued up my quad. Um, yeah, brilliant little antenna. Quite resilient too. I've had plenty of crashes with that antenna, although the, the coax is a bit bent. It has survived. Now here's the Speedy B. The spe and you notice it's a lot squatter in terms of the actual antenna elements itself. Um, it's probably half the height, half the height. And this one's got a slightly longer lead. So if you mount them at the same level, this is going to be a little bit higher above the frame, which is actually quite good. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but I will be testing. I'll do head to head. Compare the lollipop to the, to the what is it? The Speedy B, Speedy B antenna. In fact, they sent me some with an MMCX connector as well, because uh, that's for the long range FPV project. I'm going to use. Oh, have I opened this box? Hang on. For the long range FPV project, I'll be using the MMCX, and this one, of course, has a thinner coax. This is a lighter antenna, so this is more for your your robust mini quads with the standard. Um, semi-rigid coax and the other one is much lighter and let me get the scales that don't show the blood because I think it's important that we weigh these things especially if we're looking at sub 250s and everything these days let me move that out of the way oh, let me pull out a bit further so we can actually see the scales here we go right now we're in grams we're zeroed so let's take a lollipop for example the lollipop seven grams with an SMA connector the speedy B with an SMA connector slightly longer coax also seven. Oh no. Whoa. Seven. Yes, it's just gone seven. So oh, my hand must be adding to the weight. Gravitational force. Look at that. So basically these two weigh about, whoops, weigh about the same. So it'll be interesting to see. Now here's the, the, the lighter weight one with the MMCX connector, which is obviously designed for smaller craft. Let's see what that comes in at. Wow. Half the weight. Less than half the weight. It's That's pretty good because if you team that with the also no, they sent me another product here because I've got a little sort of a bag from Speedy B, so there's a little bit of Speedy B stuff here. Um, oh, if I can get it out of the little bag, this is their little 500 milliwatt or adjustable video transmitter. <laughs> so if I put the 500 milliwatt video transmitter and the antenna, we're still only six grams. This is perfect for sub 250 FPV and and longer range too because we're looking at 500 milliwatts. And with the MMCX connector, it just plugs into there. Bing. Whoops. No, if I pushed it hard, I'd plug it in, but I can't be bothered. Anyway, so there we go. That's super lightweight because I was planning to use a more conventional 600 milliwatt trans, uh, video transmitter. But no, I'm going to go with this in the long range build. Fantastic. Six grams for your FPV. And of course, combining that with the little run came nano racer, oh, we're still looking well under 10 grams for the entire FPV system. That is fantastic. Um, We'll see how we get on with that, see how well that works. Uh, let me see what else have I got to say. Oh yes, and another thing. While we're on the Speedy B box, let me clear this out of the way, show you what else arrived from Speedy B. And this is, uh, right, turn it around so you can see. Here we go, look at that. Another box from Speedy B. No, it's not a huge, great antenna. Um, I, I have to give Speedy B, I don't know about this product, I haven't even really looked at it yet. I, I just, just oh, look at that water, it's been raining. Um, this just arrived. I had a quick look inside, and the one thing that struck me immediately is probably what's going to strike you. Let's have a look inside this box. Now this is a mini quad frame. It's a frame kit, right? Look at the packaging, will you? Look at how this is packaged. I mean, I'm used to getting mini quad frames in plastic bags with a bit of cardboard stapled at the top. Look at this. Look. 
Nice carbon, it's got that matte finish. Yep, nice. And look, everything is packed individually in foam, look. Here we go, here's the next plate. And another foam separator, and here's another plate. And look inside here, each arm individually packed in its own little slot. This is kind of, I mean, this is kind of cool, really. Um, what have we got? We've got quite nicely made, nicely made. All looks very good. Um, I'm still, I, I st it, biggest belief to this day, I still do not understand. I've spoken about this so many times, and that is stress relief, stress rises. Look, I mean, this is still, let me put this against something lighter, like the, the instruction brochure, so you can see the contrast better than against my horrible green mat. Look, let's have a look at this arm. I'm going to pull in a little bit here because I, I don't know what's going on. Um, has the world gone silly? I mean, this looks great quality carbon. It's, it's all rounded. It's, it's smooth. It's, you can't criticise the quality of the materials. But here we have stress riser. See? We've got it's thin there, thin there. So there's going to be high stress across there because we go from this thick area to these very thin areas. All I had to do is bring this out a little bit more here. Wouldn't have added any perceptible weight. Would have made this so much stronger. And let's have a look at this end. Yeah, this is not so bad. This this end is not so bad because we have a couple of holes, but we do have some extra material out here. Yeah, that, I'm reasonably happy with that. So, yeah, and we've got to take into account, of course, that the motor will be reinforcing the end. So it's not as bad as it might look, but I would still like to have seen just a little bit more material so that there was the same cross section where the holes are as there is just before the holes. Anyway, uh, I'm perhaps being a little overly critical. We don't know. So this is the what is it? Oh, look at the book. Look at look at the thing. It is the Speedy B FS225. So I guess it's a 225 mil frame, and it comes with a whole plethora of stuff, bits of metal stand. Oh, look at those meaty standoffs. Woo! Who uses metal? They do. Look and screws and nuts and bolts. Yep, looks like a quality product. Really looks like a quality. Well, certainly the presentation exudes quality. I mean, everything has its own little compartment in the box, and whoa. I am impressed. At this stage, I am impressed. Now, I will be building this up and, and trying it out, but man, that's pretty good. What size stack does it take? I would think at that size, it'll be a 30 mil stack. Uh, I think, have they drilled it for either either? I don't know. Where's that little video transmitter? This is a 20 mil. The other reason, let me see. Da -da. Ooh, no, just about dropped it. See, as I try things out while you're here. Yep, that'll take a 20 mil stack. If you want to use a 20 mil, or if you want to go wider, I think it'll probably take the 30 mil stack. Look at that, brilliant. Um, so th this is this is excellent quality, excellent quality, fantastic. I'm sacrilege that I'm just throwing bits back in here because of all that nice packaging is just so brilliant. But uh, yeah, that'll be I'll be doing this up over the next week or two. Um, no hurry because I've got other fixed wing projects which are more important at the moment. But just suffice to say, the packaging alone makes this a standout frame. And brilliant, you know I'm not going to uh, speak to the the frame until I've finished it, but who gets a frame in a box like that with all that foam? And again, let's go back to this one at the TX500. One thing I like about this is it's a 20 mil um, stack. So I have a flight controller somewhere, which I've lost because, oh, I don't know, things disappear around here. How does, how does it happen? I don't know, but I've got the little Flybot flight controller, which I'll be using for the long range FPV. It's also 20 millimeters. So I'm going to make a 20 millimeter stack in a fixed wing long range sub 250 gram FPV model which hopefully will tick a lot of boxes for people in Canada and elsewhere in the world where you don't want to register. Oh, who wants to register to just to fly a toy? Stupid, silly idea. Anyway, um, so yeah, that is kind of nice. So there we go. Antennas, video transmitter, and a quad frame, all from SpeedyB. Now, I don't know what's happening. Maybe Runcam is just the camera department and SpeedyB is the everything else department. But I'll, uh, I'll put a link to the SpeedyB website down here. No affiliate links, no shilling. Um, and I suggest that you stay tuned for the full review of these antennas, this thing, and the quad frame before you make a purchasing decision. But you can go and get more information if you click on the link and go to have a look at the website. Everything will be there. So here you go. Just I thought I'd update you on what came in the mail, and that's what it was. So the Long Range FPV project, I think I've got everything I need now for that. So that will be a priority. And if you've been watching the Extra Channel, you'll have seen that I, um, I'm quite a way through the edit on the Outlaw 250, the Sub 250 normal FPV model. Not designed for long range, just for close proximity. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. Thanks to my Patreon supporters who make it possible to produce these videos with those annoying mid-roll ads that everyone else uses. Okay, time to get on with some work. Bye for now.